Seconded to approve the agenda. Uh, is there any other additions or corrections? If not, all those in favor say yes. 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 Opposed, no. Agenda is approved. Now we'll move on to the approval of the minutes. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of the last meeting. Are there any additions or corrections? If not, all those in favor of approving say yes. 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 Those opposed say no. Minutes are approved. Next portion of our meeting is public comment on an agenda item. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to make a comment uh, on our agenda? We have eight. Pardon? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. Should I do this? Uh, that's all right. Just, just yeah. uh, give us your name, if you would, please. My name is uh, Daryl Page. I am the mayor for the city of Muskegon Heights. My address is uh, 543 over Brook Street, Muskegon Heights, Michigan. And I'm here to uh, actually get some more input on item number four. Uh, I think it's, well, number four, was that the one regarding the, uh, the water authority? Number one. Number one, I'm sorry. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Yes. Number one. It, uh, more information actually on number one, actually. What is being uh, proposed today? Okay. If I mean, I, did you make, care to make a comment to us, or? Uh, yeah, I was. I was just making a comment as to what was being proposed on the uh, purchase agreement for number one, page nine. Well, we'll we'll talk about that when it comes up for consideration. But if you want to make a statement of your own feelings before we. Well, considering it, that's what this is for. And I, I guess uh, I didn't have as much uh, background on that, except what I'm assuming that's for a uh, water authority for is it the northwestern portion of the county? This is a contract between the city of Muskegon and what's called the north side water. And uh, I guess uh, my, my, my comment would be okay, in terms of. Uh, going into a water agreement or authority with uh, Muskegon, there are two water filtration plants that's actually in the county that actually can service the full county of Muskegon. So I guess that would be my concern and stuff. Muskegon Heights was uh, not partially made aware of this and stuff, so um, why we weren't made aware and then, you know, why we weren't uh, informed of the, the agreement would be my comments. So, uh, okay. Uh, this this they, these folks have been purchasing the North Side Water Group has been purchasing water for many years from the city of the city. Okay. But okay, well I, I guess I should let you go then. My understanding was that it's gonna be like a third in terms of the agreement which everyone's gonna be coming in in, in the north side of the county for uh, county water authority. No, I don't believe this is this well, is for county water authority. Uh, well, listen. Thank you. Is there anyone else? If not, we'll close that section of the meeting and uh, go to uh, items for consideration. Karen, will you chair? Item number one is water purchase agreement. So moved. Sorry. Sorry. It's been moved and seconded to agree the the. Uh, Water purchase agreement. Are there any questions or comments, Alan? Yeah, I, I want this on the record and uh, a roll call roll when it comes. First, no opt out. Even at my house, I can always sell it. But second, there was a meeting held where a township supervisor, who is also Northside Water Board Chair, didn't even get invited. Though it was legal, this is not ethical. If we will do this to his township, would we do this to any other township or city? So I would encourage you to vote no to protect your own cities and townships. Are there any other questions or comments? Would anyone 
without any explanation? Yeah, I have some comments on what I'd like to okay. make. Um, number one, I, I think um, this has been talked about for a long, long time. And I believe it's, it's, I think, one of the most positive things that have happened on the North Side system. I mean, and I think just to answer some questions and confusion that were coming from the, from the audience in particular, uh, Mayor Page. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Better? Yeah, well, okay. thank you. And to, to just to answer some questions is, is that um, there were prior to this agreement there are there are one two three four different water contracts uh, for purchase from the city of Muskegon. In fact, the north the, the county regional system, which includes uh, properties in our areas north and south of the river, those were two different contracts with two different rates. Uh, this contract makes all four of those contracts obsolete and replaces them um, with one rate for every community. Um, I can't say a whole lot about the percentage because I have my own concerns about the percentages. It's a percentage of, of the base rate that the city does. It's 1.25, which is what half the north side was on and the other half was on 1.35. I believe uh, Muskegon, North Muskegon and, and uh, Roosevelt Park both decreased to 1.25. Um, the reason that I'm supporting this is because it now puts three municipal organizations together under the one buyer. So when we speak with the city of Muskegon, we speak with one voice on behalf of three communities. And one of those communities is the, is the regional water system, which represents upwards of five townships which at one time and some time would be Eggleston also. Um, so I, I support this, this agreement, um, but I do want to caution this board, and, and we had some discussion early, this is not the end of the story. This is just a very small beginning in walking forward towards looking at an agreement countywide eventually that would include um, all of our producers and all of our users. I think it gets us closer to that point and I would encourage this board as well as our individual communities to continue to discuss issues of alliances on both the user side as well as on the production side because it, it's, it's just going to help us all as communities and, and I applaud the efforts on uh, behalf of our staff and some of our other commissioners that have been part of this. I know it's been a tough deal. Um, it isn't perfect. I heard that mentioned before, and, and I agree that it's not perfect, but it's it's a big step, and, uh, um, and I would encourage everyone to vote for it. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, the reason why I've been invited uh, my mayor down, because I wanted them to know about what is going on. And since they do not have an agreement with uh, Norton Shores or Fruitport Township, I wanted them to make sure that uh, there's a, a consolidation appearing here. And if he, uh, there were any comments or if he had been invited and, uh, or didn't know about it, I wanted to make sure that they were aware of what was going on with uh, the Northside Wire Supply. Well, I want to echo what Mr. Fisher has said, I think this is a step forward. I think it's a step in the right direction. Uh, I would just comment that it really pulls together a whole lot more than just three entities. It pulls together the city of North Muskegon, city of Roosevelt Park, city of Muskegon, the North Side water system, which consists of four townships in the county. So it is truly a consolidation of effort to try to bring together water production for this community and I would simply encourage those other jurisdictions including Mayor Page which has a system that is excellent to look at the possibilities of seeing if we can't bring together all of the production facilities and all of the distribution facilities in this community to achieve a singular rate which I think is possible and I think this is a step in the right direction. If, if I might add, um, this is also this is an issue that's been 
talked about for uh, 20, 30 years at least that I'm aware of. Um, it might very well be a good time to talk because our current governor has been saying that groups that work together are more likely to get funding to help the process move ahead. So I, I would think that this is something that would be good for the county to, to talk about in the coming days and months to see if we can't reach some kind of an agreement. Yeah. Uh, I sat on the water policy board and, and the water war through that effort and I hear consolidation way to do it. Consolidation isn't going to happen overnight. It's going to happen with small steps. And this is one of those small steps that are very important. And I encourage all the people who are involved in this to continue this process and it's going to come a step at a time. Thank you. I'll support this wholeheartedly. Anyone else? If not, roll call please. Mr. Fisher? Yes. Mr. Jager? No. Mr. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Derzinski? Yes. Mr. Engel? Yes. Mr. Collins? Yes. Mr. Plummer? Yes. Ms. Wilkins? No. And Mr. Cross? Yes. Motion carried. Number two is purchase property from Northway Lanes. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to purchase a, a piece of property adjacent to our pump station from Northway Lanes. Uh, questions, comments? Not roll call, please. Mr. Jager? Yes. Mr. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Derzinski? Yes. Mr. Engel? Yes. Mr. Collins? Yes. Mr. Plummer? Yes. Ms. Wilkins? Yes. Mr. Cross? Yes. Mr. Fisher? Yes. Motion carried. Number three is agreement for alternative daily cover with RRC. So moved. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded to, uh, <coughs> I guess it's not a renewal, it's to write a new contract after the other has expired with <coughs> the same folks. Uh, are there any questions or comments? <coughs> it's worked out very well over the last five years or so. So, having said that, uh, roll call, please. Mr. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Derzins? Yes. Mr. Engel? Yes. Mr. Callan? Yes. Mr. Plummer? Yes. Ms. Wilkins? Yes. Mr. Cross? Yes. Mr. Fisher? Yes. Mr. Jager? Yes. Mr. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Engel? Yes. Mr. Plummer? Yes. Mr. Callan? Yes. Mr. Jager? Yes. Motion carried. Number four is IPCS wireless modification. Report township water tank. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the wireless modifications contingent upon uh, the other entities passing it. So are there questions or comments? If not, roll call, please. Mr. Derzinski? Yes. Mr. Engel? Yes. Mr. Collins? Yes. Mr. Plummer? Yes. Ms. Wilkins? Yes. Mr. Cross? Yes. Mr. Fisher? Yes. Mr. Jaber? Yes. Mr. Snyder? Yes. Motion carried. Number five is permission to bid grid sampling and soil testing. So moved. Second. There's been moved and seconded to allow for the bidding for this year's soil sampling. Are there questions or comments, Alan? Yeah, is this done periodically or? I mean, it's mandatory whatever we do here. Mark Eisenberg, Director of Wastewater. Yes, we usually do this yearly. We go out in uh, certain fields throughout the uh, 11,000 acres. We go out and take a sampling of the soils to see what the nutrient levels are. And from that, we can tie that back into our GPS system, which ties back into the farm equipment and applies these chemicals at a certain level. So all the field doesn't get the same amount of vacuum in the phosphorus, for example. So this is more of not what we're putting out on the field, it's more to make the crops grow better. Yeah, and what's in the field. Okay. Any further questions or comments? If not, all those in favor say yes. 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 If those opposed say no. Motion carries. Number six is adopt the 2012 wastewater archery deer hunting and trapping rules and authorize DNR waterfall hunt and spring youth turkey hunt. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to adopt the 2012 um, archery, or I don't know what you call it, 
the rules. <laughs> Alan, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, um, I, I see there's no weapons out there. Um, if you have a CCW permit, would that, but then would you still not be able to be out there? I mean, I guess. I no, um, the bows are about the bow you know, the only way we allow there as far as is hunting the deer. Mm -hmm. Shotguns are allowed for the uh, turkey and goose and duck hunt. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as rifles, we have employees in different areas for fate of the travel velocity of the bullets that we don't allow uh, any type of rifles. Well, I guess what I was wondering is you know, you've got these concealed weapons. I mean, because it says you can get kicked out of there if you have anything on you, but if that's legal, is that, can you still get kicked out of there? Or? Yeah, the exit, I mean, we can. The sign that coming into the wastewater property is actually set as a, uh, as a private property as far as uh, municipal concerns because of that concern of throughout the United States of uh, people turning their weapons onto a water or wastewater facilities. So we have that authority to remove them. Uh, related to that, um, I think the waterfowl, the geese, 5,000 is the limit. I mean, what was the number of geese taken? Uh, last, last three or four years, probably average 400. Okay, 400, maybe 500. Yeah. Was the Mark, I understand also that there is a way to control the number of seagulls. Uh, be in, in, in close proximity of the wastewater system and the seagulls that seem to move to Wolf Lake and, and defecate, if I can say that. <laughs> and I understand that there could be something done out there to maybe control that population. I don't know. I may be 100% wrong, but I don't yeah, care out there, but I sure care about Wolf Lake. We work with solid waste on that currently. Um, try to limit the catching of eggs, actually. Mm -hmm. out there on the, on the seal, and it's a permit that has to be applied through the U.S. Fish and Wildlife, and they are actually the ones that, that deal with the AIDS. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, there's tens of thousands yeah. of seals yeah. out there. Just, yeah, we are working on it. There were some harvested this year, and there will be uh, the permit next year will be asked for even more. Okay. They taste like chicken, I can save a lot of, a lot of time. Maybe <laughs> 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 you could release more raccoons. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Any further questions or comments? If not, um, all those in favor say yes. 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 Those opposed say no. Motion carries. Number seven is award bid, electrical conduit, wire, and cable. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to award the bid for electrical wire and conduit. Are there any questions or comments? Tell me. Yeah. Um, listen, um, I couldn't find it. We didn't write this up to where any, was only one certain kind of wire or anything like that. It was broad scope. Yes. So there was no reason a lot of companies couldn't bid. Correct. That's all I was worried about. Okay, very good. Mark, can you explain what went on, how you contacted the other companies? Yes. Um, in the past, we've always had three local companies that we've uh, contacted for pricing for wire, West Michigan companies anyway, um, to buy and use it for the wastewater facility. Um, the Mitten, obviously, we realized we can touch a lot more people with that. Um, so this year, uh, we were working with purchasing, uh, develop the specs, the general specs, um, wire that we may may use, and not necessarily have to use, um, but at least we have prices through December. Um, so our next step was to get on the Mitten, you know, obviously Mitten asked who we had used in the past. Um, Wesco, obviously, the one that did. Kindle, we uh, get quotes from them. We also get quotes from Standard Electric. Uh, so we gave them those, at least the three names that we have used. Um, and those are turned into purchasing person to uh, Mitten. Um, when we received the prices back, we only had the one Wesco, so we called up Kindle and Standard Electric and the contact people that we talked to, and they said they didn't hear about it. 
So we, we thought that was a little odd. So then we went on with purchasing assistance, called and Mitten. And Mitten actually showed us the documentation where they actually called them and sent them emails. There's a duck. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, go right ahead. <laughs> They're coming for you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Mitten did show documentation where they talked to them and left emails for, um, for their secretaries. I think we received that. And um, so we called them back and told them that there was communication there. So it was internally on these other two that didn't bid, that they, the people who bid industrial cable uh, didn't get the message internally, but I feel confident that uh, Mitten at least made the effort through their phone system, through their internet system to contact them. Um, maybe they didn't contact the right people, but that, that's the stuff that I guess we got to make sure that they do contact the right people. But uh, that, I think that's the struggle we're working through right now is making sure the right person's contacted at these companies so they did it. Um, there were an awful lot of hits that were, I don't have mine open, but 171 roughly, I believe. Yep. Right. And um, yeah, check right there. And then 36 actually downloaded it. So I think we had a lot of exposure. Um, just this situation with the two people, the two people that we like to see bid, Kindle, Standard Electric, were not the guys who bid it, wasn't notified. Also, you put it in the paper too, correct? Yes, it's also in the paper. Alan, did you, yeah, did, you, did you find it to be any cheaper when you did this? Or, cause the same company yeah. got it right today. Is it the same thing as it had been bid? Um, we, we didn't ask. Wesco was the lowest bid last time we did this. They were lowest bid. Mm -hmm. um, the, the far right one at 760 per foot is a very, uh, actually, we paid 824 last time. But the, the 1212, I'm letting it buy that. It's, I, I could get that for nine. I think we quoted some for emergencies just three months ago. I got it for nine something. So um, we asked them why they did so much higher because West Coast one says, "Well, I got to guarantee you that price through December." I'm not sure what that's going to cost. Um, but it was cheaper on the one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think everything was cheaper except for that twelve twelve. So Minton made work by getting it out that way. It just we need to get our locals into the pit. Yes. Very good. <laughs> Further questions or comments? Um, roll call, please. Mr. Plummer? Yes. Ms. Wilkins? Yes. Mr. Cross? Yes. Mr. Fisher? Yes. Mr. Jager? Yes. Mr. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Berzinski? Yes. Mr. Anglin? Yes. Mr. Fallon? Yes. Motion carried. Number eight is authorization to proceed with hiring four temporary operators. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to uh, authorize uh, for four temporary operators. Are there questions or comments? Alan, I kind of have do. I suppose we would have known benefits to insurance knowing up not all these people and doing it this way. Um, I suppose you could look at it that way. Um, it, it's, a, it's a true statement, but another thing what we're doing is our irrigation season is becoming less and less. Before we used to irrigate for eight months, and it was easy to find three months of work and transfer these folks to another department and have them work for a year. Uh, since SAFI has closed, um, our irrigation seasons have come shorter. Now we're down to six months, sometimes five and a half months. So now I'm looking, trying to find work for another six months for the students to get a lot diff more difficult. But that's the main reason. Second reason is um, going towards a lot of automation. So I'm not needing that night shift person. You know, hopefully in a few years I'll have it automated where we don't need a night shift person where it's, because already I'm paying someone at C station. 24-7 down here, you know, just about eight a year to monitor these alarms. There's no reason why we can't tie those alarms in, especially at night. Uh, right now I have one person there at night. And again, this is that same person that puts in over uh, 80,000 miles on a vehicle a year. But these four people share that vehicle, so it's always running. And they got to go manually and check all of these 11,000 acres. But if we to automate that over the next couple of years, we won't need that. So, it's a combination thing, looking forward and seeing um, where we're at two or three years down the road. So I guess I'd rather use these folks now instead of turning around laying someone off two or three years down the road. Any further questions or comments? 
Uh, roll call, please. Ms. Wilkins? Yes. Mr. Cross? Yes. Mr. Fisher? Yes. Mr. Jager? Yes. Mr. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Darzinski? Yes. Mr. Engel? Yes. Mr. Fallon? Yes. Mr. Plummer? Yes. We uh, now move to uh, informational items. Are there any questions uh, from the board on the monthly reports? I don't have any questions. I just have a comment. I looked at uh, some of the receivables, and we have some that are sitting around and they're really old. But I would hope that uh, perhaps somebody could take a look at those, and uh, uh, we could address some of those uh, and, and get rid of them. <laughs> uh, uh, I think some of them are in bankruptcy, or, and some of them are six, seven, eight years old. Uh, I mean, bro, we are on the first day. Sammy, well, I, uh, I took a look at them uh, and sure. uh, just uh, came through and they seem to be... If I may, Mr. Chairman, uh, Heath Capital Finance and Management Services Director. Uh, yes, you're correct. Um, we have been, uh, every audit period now, it's, start, it's now part of our standard practice to work with those individual departments to make sure we are forwarding to board for consideration the write off, if necessary, of any uh, uncollectible uh, item. Um, so in this case, it's up, we're getting ready already for the close of this upcoming fiscal year, and we will be working together with not only John, but with uh, Mark, and, and they've been extremely cooperative. Um, we have not re received any uh, resistance at all, and that includes Mr. Leverance over at the Solid Waste Facility. Um, we're getting on top of it. We've, uh, we've learned from the, uh, the Brookhaven example, and we want to make sure that we do not want to repeat that mistake. Thank you. You're welcome. Just like um, Yeah, I'm the... Corn, are we locked into the price that we sell that for? Or are we, uh, or like, can we go up because there's so much drought? It might be worth a lot money. It, it is. And we, we pay every year, um, just to get caught up there, but every year we uh, hedge our corn, soybeans for futures. In other words, we'll buy it. And we'll, well, it's a long story, I'll make it short. We, we want to hedge our prices to, to sell our potential crop production for next year. So last year's corn, we just finally got rid of all that. We, we sell in the market and the next the spring we buy that back and we sell it locally to a, 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 a harvest, grain harvest company. Um, this year, um, if it wasn't for the, if we got a lot of rain, the market was gonna be five, five, 480 to 520 a bushel for corn. Obviously, we need it rain, so we've been seeing these prices uh, go up. We held off. Um, there's always a risk for holding off. If someone starts getting rain, these prices are going to drop. So, um, as the drought went on, there's a lot of farmers here locally um, didn't have irrigation systems to irrigate like we did. Um, so normally we would have hedged around 788. That's where we were ready to hedge. Uh, 770 actually. Um, once you hedge that price, then you gotta subtract, when you buy that back, you gotta pay for delivery. So you just subtract that 30 cents or 40 cents off that delivery, for the delivery cost. So then you're down to 730. Then you also have the uh, harvesting, you have the drying of the corn, the storage they call it, corn, the overtime to harvest that corn. So that all eats away at your price, and this is something we're going to enjoy. Uh, this is the second time that I've been there that the local dairy farmers have asked us uh, if they could take the corn as silage. And the reason is is because they have a shortage on their own property, uh, their, their own farm fields. Um, so we give them the opportunity to quote that to us. Um, it's, it has to be a quick quote because as you were aware of, well aware of the market changes quite frequently. On a Monday, you'll see it jump up 40 cents. By Friday, you might see it drop down, just like the market that you guys are all invested in. It goes up again. <laughs> yeah. So you have to act quickly on this corn prices. Um, so we, we gave them two days to give us a price back. Um, there's three. There was three of them that went together in one one bin, and there's the, the uh, dairy uh, farmers that buy our hay as well. We also had another one uh, the north bid on as well. Um, I don't have that in front of me, but the, the 778 plus the 20 is 
So since they offered it, it was up to 803. So we were, they were wanting to buy it for 803 bushel equivalent, uh, which is the highest we've ever sold corn here in the last four years we've been doing. Um, so by taking that uh, as an option, it was we're much more uh, ahead of going and working <coughs> with uh, dairy farmers to do the silage this year instead of harvesting because of all the cost that we have to take on by harvesting the corn. So this year we actually sell it all, not quite, the next 1275 acres of corn for silage. Well, you should be commended for making sure our locals get it. Um, Thanks. I think we appreciate that a lot. Any other questions? Comments? Hey, it's also short. I mean, we do, I and mean, we've had three cuttings that appear to me. Okay? Yes. Okay. Well, we're trying to get um, five in. Um, we'll do our fourth one. There's some that have been cut right now, so four. Uh, okay. We expect to see another one in late September, our fifth cutting. opposite of everybody else. We got to get water. <laughs> I wish we had more. Uh, questions, comments? If not, uh, we'll move on to old business. Is there any old business to come before this board? Any old business? Is there any new business to come before this board? Any new business? If not, uh, it's time for that we allow public comment on a new item. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to make a comment on a new item? Motion adjourned. Thank you. We are adjourned. Yeah, I'm